Hey, 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 what's up? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of Coast to Coast, powered by Clutch Points. I'm your host, JD. Joining me today is the man, the myth, the legend, a.k.a. Saul Train. Shout out Biola University Eagles. Hey, young Marky. Hey, 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 we got Saul Mikado here. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcast fix, whether that be Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, you name it, we're Smash there. It. Smash. Um, don't forget to follow us on socials at Let It Fly Podcast. Stay updated on all the latest episodes or sessions and behind the scenes action. So, my man, why don't you give our listeners a sneak peek of what we got lined up for today's session? Man, what's up, y'all? Um, welcome to another session. Uh, today we got um, we're gonna be talking about the PBA coming up. I mean, it starts uh, what next mm. week. We got yes, sir. Yeah, five we, days, bro. We're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about our upcoming guest on Let It Fly that we got coming in for you guys. Uh, you know, Ooh, so you guys he's know a good one, advance. too. Yeah, we got some Ooh. good ones. We got some real, real, great one. real, real great ones for you guys that I'm sure you guys are going to be tuned uh -huh. in for those. Um, mm -mm. And we talk about some NBA stuff, um, some crazy stuff that went down, you know. What went down? What happened? Man, what happened out there? The Clippers got a little richer. <laughs> they, they, and they, they didn't give too much up either they didn't give yeah. much up either they didn't, give they much didn't. it didn't yeah. seem like that we'll talk about that one kings yeah, we'll though talk about that coming one. through you see my sack kings baby 916 i saw them bro i saw them fox had a terrible ankle injury though i don't know how that's gonna i know he's a he was a g and he came back pulled that a boy, willis that, reed that boy came back and that ankle twist bro. looked bad you know what i was thinking on the takeoff on was, the takeoff he was in the curries you know the curry with the whole ankle thing sometimes you know he yeah. had the ankle yeah. problems early yeah. in his career like of course right when you Is sign with there? the curry then you turn your ankle you think that's what happened i Ooh. don't know I, is it a coincidence <laughs> that as soon as he signs with curry they still won the first yeah, athlete funny. to it's, sign with curry yeah where's the curry ankle ankle i don't know yeah. i don't know if that it's like look good i don't know if it's curry trying to sabotage my team Oh, if stop he, it. I'm just saying, like, why are you, why you signing my boy like that? And then and then seeing turn his ankle, turn like his ankle against, you know, like he just he's turning up too much, man. He'd be he'd be putting it that in the work. That boy is him. He's that nasty. boy's nice. He's nasty. Dude. Like, he gets anywhere he, he wants. Yeah. Facts, man. He's really fun to watch. He makes it easy. to. It looks like he makes it so easy to score the way he moves. Like, oh, it makes it seem like any casual like. That doesn't look too bad the way I could do that. Yeah, like, it's crazy how fast he is, but he plays with pace. Yes, usually when you get pace when is you crazy. Get, yeah, when you get guys that are like that fast, usually, like he's the fastest player in the league, in my opinion. Like he's like up yeah. there when oh, John yeah. Wall was was up there, like Derrick Rose, mm. Russell Westbrook, mm. LeBron James, like straight speed. But mm. he plays with like a different pace where it's like uh, uh, like from zero to hundred and then hundred yeah. to zero. Cause he'll get you going yeah. one way really fast and then stop on a dime for a pull up or a little yeah. floater. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy. That boy got good. Uh, what is it? Quad strength. Got really good quad strength. Good cadence. Good quad strength. Hey, just like our boy Joe Devance would say, that boy got very good fast twitch muscles. <laughs> that boy's muscle, <laughs> that's fast twitch muscles, is elite. Uh, what else are we gonna talk hey, about, man? man? There's something coming up really, really that's gonna be crazy. It's gonna really we got dictate. JD. Yeah, it's gonna. We got the verdict coming up. It's supposed to be this week, and it, you know, it feels weird at the Hennepper camp. You know, we got our new import, Tony Bush up. Hey, man, dude's he's a hooper. He could play, and and he's already setting the tone early with us. Uh, coming in, coming to practice just a couple days ago. It just. Just not seeing JB there. It's that's, like, yeah, wow. That's different. that's different. It's different. You know, it's Scotty's first time without JB in his whole career. That you know is. That's crazy. That's, that's a big deal. That's a lot of guys. Who yeah. else? Who else on the team? AJ also. AJ's first AJ team. AJ also? Out? Yeah. Not Jap. Jap was, he was around nah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Jap's old. Um, it's, I think it's really <laughs> just, it, <laughs> Jap's like 35, bro. 30, hey, how there. old is Tony Bishop? 34. He's 34. Oh, so he's up there. He there. So he's a vet. He's like, because <laughs> I was going to oh, say, he's a pro's pro. He's a pro's pro. <laughs> what if, what if Tony Bishop comes in and then 
you guys win a championship like a grand slam and then for everyone forgets about jd <laughs> oh but that would never happen bro i know but that would be crazy <laughs> but he's already on, tony all prove in. us wrong prove us wrong tony get three right off the bat man i'm hoping that i'm hoping that this verdict when it comes out ain't yo i'm hoping bro that, you know it has to be one month like shikari richardson usa track runner olympian she got caught up with thc she was going through some issues she's whatever it may be she's a beast too. she she's a beast bro dude olympics cracked down on her bander for a month that was olympics I, too right i'm just saying yeah. yes this is asian so, games this is asian games not fiba sanctioned and come on man we're talking Give about city not the world city not the world you know, Craig. i'm hoping hey you know i'm, I'm low-key hoping that's just gonna help jb you know who's to say that's just a nice little little break rest and recovery he yeah before he yeah he needs it bro so what happens um, like you guys go undefeated kill teams the chemistry with tony bishop's crazy like he's just balling out jb suspensions mm. up do you make that change right away like say you guys are undefeated and literally haven't had a game that's gotten close to 20 and tony bishop's averaging a triple double a, th dude, a, a that, 29 point triple double what a what are the DraftKings? Uh, what's the bet on that? If if that's oh, gonna happen, <laughs> if, you know, if that happens, yes, then then things need to be discussed and talked about, and we have to have a kumbaya. I mean, that is some that crazy, crazy things. Yeah, That'd if we crazy. go on to yeah, to, uh, eleven game winning streak and our scoring margins by forty, and he's averaging a triple double. Okay, we might have to think twice here. I yeah man yeah man i'm praying for jb though i really hope yeah we all are bro i really hope i just it's, want it's a month like you said that would be that would be made i'd be sick bro i think it would be okay and um i think i hope and i can't speak for justin or what the rules are but i sure hope he's just at practice and around the team just his winning vibes his culture just that that aura that he brings man it just Feel like you're getting better just standing around the dude yeah i said it i said <laughs> you know it i said it in another i think it was a, a coast to coast session when i was like man if oh, if sam miguel doesn't hire miguel. this dude if they oh, don't yeah. hire this dude like to be a coach something of philippine basketball when he's done playing and say this say no, i'm not even gonna say that the verdict i'm not even gonna put that out there in the universe but mm. say it is a month we're gonna mm. say it is gonna be a month like they need to still pay him that pay him yeah keep and him keep him system. around keep him around keep put him, him around the coach put him as a coach yeah. let him uh fast track uh tony bishop a little bit on on how yeah. what he should look for yeah. you know that yeah. that's valuable bro that's very valuable so man. hopefully they do that uh, hey you know you know what man we, we are gonna have jb on here after the verdict and we're gonna talk and and have him talk about obviously what happened and the situation and anything else that kind of wants to roll with that so stay tuned for that one that's gonna yeah. be a great one that's gonna be dope gonna be, be on the lookout one. because jb already said he's he's coming on coast yeah. to coast he already done let it fly he don't want the full you know what i'm saying we? he wants he wants to be on coast to coast just to air yeah. out his experience and and we'll maybe, maybe we'll uh maybe we'll wear our t-shirts our secret fresh Ooh. our secret Ooh. fresh t-shirts and support oh those ones you know which one I'm talking I'll, about. I'll wear I'll wear that every day. You know what? which one I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, can we can we talk about like you know we, we get a lot of comments from you guys. We get a lot of um, wish lists of who to get on the show, and mm -hmm. we've been really taking that into account. Um, we have a long list. You know, we were talking to Clutch Points whether they're trying to get on, you know, Jordan Clarkson or Kai Soto or Jimmy Alapog from the Kings. How I understand know, was thrown out there too, right? Oh, Kyle Anderson. Yep. Yeah, he just got his his all of his paperwork done over there in China. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously we got LA Tenorio coming up. We got Coach Cone. Oh, you breaking you break you breaking the news already. I don't know if they I don't know if this yeah, is something we want to do. Break it. Can we break, break it, it out. Let them know. Let them know who we got right? coming up. We got a long list for this upcoming season, you guys. We got Jeff Cariasso, Coach Cariasso. We got Coach Cariasso. Yeah, that uh, will be that will be uh, uh that will be Big time because I really yeah. feel like people don't know the story of Jeff Cariasso. Like that oh, especially for Phil Ams, bro. For yeah. us. Like where he started out here. Like there I know there's more before him, but that that whole Titan. Just the business thing that he started, side. Bro. The business yes. side. The business side is what I want a lot of Me the too, people bro. that 
to, to hear, man. Like he he yeah. really did it right. He did it right. Plus yeah. he had a, he did an illustrious way, career, bro. Like and Great he played career. with he played for Coach Tim as well. So Coach Tim, they won a they won a Grand Slam, didn't they? He won a Grand Slam on there with Coach Tim, I think. Is he part of? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he did. Uh, uh, dude, like think about that. Who wouldn't want a career like Coach Carriasso's? Long, long career, all stars, MVPs. I got championships. a I got a funny story, bro. Oh, so ooh. we're playing Alaska, and this is like maybe my first, first or second year in the league. Because he's still playing. He's still playing, right? For for yeah. those who don't know, Saul is that old that he got to play against Coach Carriasso. So well, he I, was but... he was towards the end of his career. And very this is, end, this is kind the of when end. him and Coach Tim were, you know. Yes. It was one of those, you know, where he wasn't ready to let go yet, but he was still playing. But we're playing Alaska. Mm -hmm. And I remember this is in RS Antipolo. I'm with Rain or Shine. Ooh. So it had to be my one of our first or second year in the yeah. league. Yeah. It's and, the first year. And I'm just this egotistical punk. punk, you know, chip on my shoulder, trying to prove myself. And it's I remember just hitting like back to back threes coming down and we're beating them. And I start talking all types of shit, bro. God, I mean, bro, all time. And, and, and I already knew, like, people have told me, people have told me, like, who Jeff Cariasso is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the legend care, of him though. and who he was yeah. as a Phil Lamb and all that. But I'm sitting there talking all types of shit. And he comes in the game and he was like, why do you have to do that? Like, let your game do, do the talking. Like, you don't need to mm. talk. Like mm. it, it makes you look stupid, especially to the to these local Filipinos. They're just not gonna like you. He told me that. He bro. said that whole thing He's, to you, <laughs> bro. He for real was looking out because honestly, That's when dope. he when he said that to me, it clicked in me. At first, it was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, so I'm gonna do yeah. me. Like, I'm out here burning. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then <laughs> and then I remember it clicked. Like, you know what, bro? Like, I don't need to be like that. Like, I don't no, need to keep playing. Fuck. I don't need to keep playing with a chip on my shoulder. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I could let my game. That's how I was my whole entire life, bro. I had to play that Word. way. I had to yeah. where I'm from in every sport yeah. that I play, football, basketball, baseball. I had to play like I had a chip on my shoulder. So it was hard mm -hmm. to break. Like, honestly, I don't yeah. think I broke it probably till I got with Coach Tim and, and Everett. Then I started playing, yeah. you know, a, a little Just less sacrifice team ball. Exactly. More oriented. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. it was hard to break, but it did click in me. I, re I always remember that story. I can't wait to tell him when, when we do get it. Oh, in. that's dope, bro. Thank you. You saved that time. one. Yeah, yeah I'm going to say that one. But that, that Shout out Coach Carriasso, man. Like, I think before he set up Titan for a lot of the Phil Lambs or Phil Foreigners who don't know who's out here trying to come out here in the Philippines, it, it was like, if you weren't with, Nike, Adidas, or and one at the time. Like, you ain't getting shoes, bro. Yeah. Like, there is no foot locker or foot action or none of that out here. Yeah. And God forbid, if you were a size 13 or higher, oh, you're really done for after that. <laughs> yeah, bro. I but, mean, just the collaborations, bro. Like, that he's class. done with, with LeBron. With Nike, with Jordan. Like, all that. What? Like, crazy. Yeah. Can't wait to talk it's, about it's cool, that. Man. Pick his brain a little bit. See how all that came one. to fruition. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be cool, man. Um, is dude, that season like, two? Uh, season two. That's that's gonna be season two. Season yeah. two. Cool. Be That'll on be a, season two. Be on the lookout. Hey, if you guys have questions that we that you you want us to shoot, like especially when we are telling you guys these guests that we have coming up, um, get in the, get in our comments, and we will mm. we will take heed to those questions and ask them. So let us know what, what you guys want to hear. The long summer wait is over and basketball action is finally back in our lives. Huge thanks to the sponsor of today's video, DraftKings Sportsbook, who has a special offer to celebrate the return of ball. By just throwing down $5 on any game, new customers will instantly get $200 on bonus bets. Win or lose, basketball is more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Let It Fly. New customers will get up to $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Let It Fly. The crowd is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1 800 Gambler or visit www.1800Gambler.net. In New York, call 8778 HOPE NY or text HOPE NY 467369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888 789 7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort. Licensee partner Golden Nugget Lake Charles. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void on ONT. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after insurance. See sportsbook.draft. Kings.com slash basketball terms for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. All right, man, this is gonna be a little bit 
uncomfortable. Now, this is going to be a little unorthodox to say. James Harden to the Clippers. What? Let's let's go. The West is... Yo, the West is packing. No, like, let's not even talk about the West. Let's just strictly talk about yo, Pacific Division, bro. Yo. The Clippers, dude. the Lakers, the Warriors, the Suns, the Kings. Bro, the Kings are the worst in that division, and they're one of they're, the best teams. They're all going to make it to the playoffs. <laughs> it's cr the Pacific <laughs> Division is unreal, bro. Okay, so right off the bat, instinctively, good trade, bad trade for Clippers. I don't think it makes them better. Makes them same, more or less. James Harden is not a plug and play player. Like we have talked about KD being a plug and play player. Like you could plug him in any system. Mm. What makes James Harden effective is when the ball is in his hands, bro. So when the ball's in his mm -hmm. hands, he takes the ball out of Russ's hands, which, you know, Russ has is, is really been like playing really, really well, kind of been, you know, bringing out what he's been able to do being throughout his whole career, being that being leader, leader, being that dog yeah. on the floor. So, but I don't think, but I, I really believe Russ is still effective even when he don't have the ball, rebounding, defending, mm. pushing the rock. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, he's still effective. James Harden, I don't know if he, maybe four years late, four or five years late, I don't think he's that be tough. effective, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't think it makes him better. That's just my opinion. Now, I, there's... Right, there's there's two types of, of narratives, right? There's the narratives that the public perceive him as, and there's the narrative that the players perceive him as. And it, it, it appears that the players really respect him. They 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 love him. He's not a bad teammate. He 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 just wants to win. Uh we all understand his 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 perception publicly and how he is, but I think I think there's something to it. I think Call me crazy. I think he he is he understands the situation he's in. He does. And I think he is gonna be okay taking some type of role that is not what he's used to taking for whatever it takes to win vibe. I think he's on that train right now. What type of role though? He's, like what what type of role is he gonna be effective in? Because he's a liability he, defensively. He makes right? him worse defensively when he's on the court. So I'd say, oh, it's gonna be weird, man. We have you, you go between Russ and James Harden starting at the PG, depending on the matchups. I'm going Where, with James Harden. Okay. So you bring off Russ, which is which he's accustomed already to doing, and he, he's the leader of the team, right? So you would see him coming off the bench and being a little bit in a better headspace as opposed to, to James. So if James a point guard subs out, Russ comes that's not a bad if that's they, not too bad. If they if they can if do they it right, gonna do that right. And honestly, they bad. tried to do that in L.A. Russ wasn't too happy. Like, have him run the second squad, come in. I mean, Russ is a Hall of Famer, bro. Like, he's, right? he's he, who knows? If he's able to, multiple people will it. have to sacrifice. For sure, yes. James Harding will have For to sure. sacrifice. And then uh, Russell Westbrook. James Harden is actually used to playing with, with Russ. They've played together. All before. of them. They've played together yeah, before. Facts. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like they, I think they would have the most chemistry, Russ and Russ and James Harden. They play together in multiple places. They play together in OKC as rookies. They play together in Houston. So I I'll, mean, I'm, I'm interested to see what their numbers and metrics were when they played with each other at the same time. And this team that they have with them now is a little bit smaller. I think it's gonna be interesting, bro. I really think I'm calling it right now. Russ coming off the bench, James Harden starting, and then that's just a great dynamic. Put them together at times, sure. They're they're starting all those dudes. They're gonna play Kawhi at the four, bro. They're gonna play Zubak, Kawhi at the four, Paul George at the three, James Harden at they the have, two, Russ at the one. That's what they're they gonna don't have do. Have an, whew, yeah. See how long that works for. They didn't even give up much either, bro. I know. They got PJ Tucker too. Don't sleep on that. PJ know, Tucker's, Tucker, a Tucker's a dog. dog bro. He's a dog. You need him there. They could play small ball. And go PJ Tucker at the five. Little their own little Shit. version of the death lineup. That'd be. And they better just. They better be jacking up at least forty threes a game, bro. <laughs> with with something like that. Yeah, because that's P nuts. PJ Tucker could guard a big, honestly, especially the bigs in the league nowadays. There ain't no, yeah. you know. I'm reading here that Magic Johnson jo jo joins Jordan, Tiger, and LeBron as the fourth athlete to become a billionaire. How dope is that? That's not fair. Can I just get a mail? Hold on. Can you say that again, bro? Magic Johnson joins who? Jordan, Tiger, and LeBron. But, I mean, just listen uh -huh. to that, bro. 
Like, how can uh-huh. you, ar- how can anyone argue about Braun? He's a billionaire, bro, and he's still playing. All those guys it- you just named are done. Yeah. They're old, like retired. Like Braun is a billionaire as he's playing now. He's a businessman. Oh, he did he's it. He's a businessman. That's not goat status. He's the goat. Businessman. Businessman off on and off the court. Businessman on and off the court. Businessman. Father. Husband. Role model. He put up a school. Basketball player. <laughs> All his whole. Come on, bro. There's no conversation. Like there's not even a conversation. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I need to. Tur- I need to turn the camera too. I can't. I keep looking at your face. I gotta. I gotta look at the camera. <laughs> well, it don't look bad though. Yeah, because you're looking at something Amen. very handsome, and it make it brings a smile to your face. <laughs> I couldn't stand it. It was messing my eyes up. <laughs> Making cool. my eyes water. Cool. I'll just look at a fucking gray oh, screen. Shit. Man, it is full on Joel and B trusted process. I really think he's going to New York. You think Joel and B <laughs> want? You think Joel and B wants out? I think so, bro. They got a a. Hey, they got a young kid over there, Tyrese Maxey, who's a. Baller. They do. That's not enough. That's not enough yet. Yes, he is the. I'm with you on that. He can hoop. They picked us some. Really pe- they picked us some pieces though. They got first round picks. They, they still got a solid team. They got a solid right. core around them. They picked us some picks to, for the future. I don't know. I I think Joel Embiid, if he if he asks out, that would be that wouldn't be smart. Especially if he goes to New York. Ooh, ooh, Philly team, New York. Oh, that would never happen though. Um, I don't think they have enough. I think they're in just, they, just uh, they'll make the playoffs. They're gonna make the playoffs, but it's I, it's tough, bro. I think they they're gonna redefine I, roles. I think they're right there. I think they're right there with with Boston and Milwaukee in the East. Still, who who's their second and third option? Tyrese uh, Maxey, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris. Okay. They just picked up yeah. what Rocco, who defends the three and D guy at a high level, um, in that trade. Covington. Who else did they Covington pick up in that trade? In they got uh, Covington, KJ Martin, KJ Martin, Batum. young young Marcus guy, Morris. Batum, who's a who's a who's a vet who could another three and D guy. They got guys yeah. that could defend at a high level. If if Embiid can pick up everything and hold that whole shit together okay mvp yeah, all right mvp play at, a, play at an mvp level again tyrese maxey's yes. averaging damn 30 right now like he's stepping into true being that guy again like i think yeah. they and then don't hey the anthony milton's a baller too who who defends and can, and can run the mm. wing too they got some guys mm. over there bro i, I really think yeah. that they're they They've been playing already without James Harden. So they just added more guys plus picks for the future. I think they're good. Time will test. We'll see how they are when all the rules are defined and who's going to be the, the go-to and option two or three. Or Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm really interested to see it. I like Orlando, bro. They're, they're, I, haven't, I, haven't, they, I haven't seen them play yet. Yay. They they started the season 2-0. and um, They started season 2-0, and and then they gave the Lakers a run for their money today. Um, but I like that they defend at a high level. They, they're they're really putting an emphasis on defending right now. Guys are scrambling. If you watch the way that they play, guys are guys are xing out for each other, covering for each other. They're on a string. Everyone's playing with effort. Like you could tell that they put emphasis on defensive end. They're gonna be. I don't think that they're gonna be one of the bottom barrel teams this season. Okay. Hey, that's something. Yeah. That's something. Okay. Okay. I was interested. I need to see them play, man. I haven't seen I haven't seen them play yet. Did season it, just started. Did any Luka. of us talk about did any of us say Luka Doncic was gonna be MVP this season? No, we didn't. That dude is on we, a he's on another he, level right now, bro. He's he's gotta establish that hey, this is my this is my team. Bro. First time first time they're four and since they started season four and yeah. since like I I mean years. But I dude, mean, he's, dude had 49, he's doing, bro. 49, 9, and 7, zero turnovers, bro. I saw that, man. That's hard to do. Dude, what's his ball usage? Ball usage has got to be high. Yeah. It's got to be high. His it's ball usage. It's got to be insane numbers. You know, you know, JD loves ball usage. <laughs> him him, and Kyrie, their ball usage has got to be like 70% of the time. Nah, that boy is. I, I, I'm going to I'm gonna call it like him and Jokic right there for MVP, bro. It's going to be a battle between those two for MVP. Ooh. Jokic, bro. That's 
Yeah, him too, man. Anyone that's seen that that quarter court alley from the side from the <laughs> sideline, that was that was disgusting. crazy. He threw it. Stupid. He slung it just, and it was like a perfect pass, bro. You might have been able to dunk that back in the days. <sighs> maybe my first two years. That, that was it, though. I could have <laughs> maybe, possibly. Had it been a nice throw. You know what was cool was Russell Wilson was in the crowd, too. <laughs> he was? The quarterback for Broncos, yeah. He was in the crowd. Yeah. Are, are people still mad at him over there? Giving yeah. him a hard time? Yeah, they're not, they're not too happy with that boy. They were like, man, they need to put sign Jokic to the Broncos. <laughs> been looking at the PBA a little bit differently, a little bit differently more so than other years. You know, when you're an OG, you start to have an issue of not recognizing the league. <laughs> Dude, I barely recognize the league, bro. It's like 70%, 70% of the league. I'm just like, yo, who is this kid? You get the scout report and you're like, you have no idea who they are. <laughs> they just no disrespect. Like, I mean, we have a great draft class that came in this year. Um, and I've been seeing, seeing, seeing some of these kids like, whoa, man, like uh, y'all different and they're coming like they're hungry. It, the league got a lot better. Who should it's we look out for? Competitive. Man, I know like the teams that we played so far in our tune-ups we played against San Miguel, Terra Firma, Blackwater, Terra Firma and Blackwater, man. How about that kid? Uh, what's his name? Kit, Kit, Holt. Kit Jimenez or something like that. Yeah, man, he's playing back in the MBPL. I think he got released because his contract. I I can't say it. I can't say it correctly, but I know he's not in the lineup at San Miguel. Oh, and word! Because they were big on that dude. It. Like he was like hey, supposed to be like Terrence Romeo or something like that. He so like they drafted like nine players, and he was smoking all of them apparently, mm. except for like the the their top draft pick, uh, or their the he was like matching their skill level. He wasn't dominating those ones, but everyone else, he was smoking them. Played, in, played against them in the tune-up. Watched the way he moves out there and like, kid, hey, he can go. He can move, plays well without the ball. His body looks like a basketball body, obviously. He has like good shoulders, good, good, yeah, good physique. He could play the game, man. I was I was impressed. Yeah, so yeah, Kit, he's he's back at the MBPL, but Kit could play, he could hoop, man. He knows how to play the game. There's a lot of potential with him. Like I like him a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I uh you know, Simon lives with me. And so I, I was yeah. asking Simon about him and and he said his first couple practices he was a little timid, like, you know, sure. didn't know how to like, you know, play how he's supposed to fit in and stuff like that. Man, my my mm -hmm. advice for these kids that that are just coming yeah, like uh, know what your game is like be yeah. yourself don't try to be anybody else than who you don't are mold into they, anything. they yeah. drafted you for you you know what i'm saying mm. like they drafted you for you unless mm. you have a conversation with a coach that tells you hey this is a conversation i've had with uh you know i had it with coach tim and a few coaches but this is later on in my career when it was like hey we That's need different. you to not be the scorer that you were before we have a lot of scores. Mm -hmm. If you could just bring up your defending and stuff like that. But when they draft you, they draft you for who you are, bro. Like, come in. Don't try and be who anybody else than who you are because that What's will that? get that will get you, you know, off the team because they're like, oh, he, maybe he's not ready for this level because yeah. you're being timid. You're passing up shots that you usually don't pass up. You got to play with a, almost an unreal confidence that yeah. you have in unshaken. yourself. Yeah, unshaken, bro. Like, this is I'm what shaking. separates the guys that are really, really great because they have that confidence level and they they trust the work that they put in. You can't just have confidence and not put the work in. Confidence is breeded from the work that you put in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So um, you build confidence Dropping in yourself. Bombs. Yeah, you build confidence from the work that you put in and, you, and, and be yourself, man. Come in and play your game. So hopefully that dude gets another chance, bro. Yeah. I mean that well said, man. That you drop, dropping some bombs on on this on this session today, Thanks, bro. I sound like a Kids. veteran. <laughs> that's meh super like one of those vets that won't shut up like yeah we got it bro we got it <laughs> sound like jeff cariasso <laughs> oh bro just giving kids knowledge ah oh, dude i'm that guy i am fully that guy on the team like i know that i'm talking too much sometimes to these kids in their ears and they're just got being to, so bro. respectful they're just trying to be respectful and not just yeah all right all right jd i know what you're saying bro but um that's your way hey, to give back man that's your way to give that's back. That's the way, man.
and we got mouthpieces so you guys have no choice but to but to listen to us Word. vets experience Whether we an ex-vet yeah. Mm. yeah for bro, sure it's everything man it's everything that's be this the best long. teacher bro and you got that knowledge you got to share it bro oh yeah got to yeah for sure man um it, it's different though isn't it bro when you are when, like you said like to touch up on when you first get in the league you got to have this unshakable confidence and there's that there's so much truth into that um because one <laughs> yeah you had a, you had you had way too much if you ask me you're a, you're an a-hole like you had too much as an a-hole but that's what made you good <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, i wish bro that's the only thing i wish is uh during our time they really had footage that you could see like it's hard to see our footage i know like, half the of our footage, camera bro. quality wasn't good yeah damn yeah uh, just we old. no 4k slow-mo <laughs> like you can't see any of that stuff it's, just, it's it's hard to see some of the moves and combos we would make on the court sometimes because the game is so blurry yeah but i actually need to get my games from coach javi you remember coach javi yeah, yeah, UAAP commissioner now, yeah. right? Is he? Coach Javi. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know bro. that. He got his hands pulled he's in the, because he he was our UAAP. Bro, he was our film guy. I was there. On when he was still there too. Yeah, he he had humble beginnings and that's crazy. Hey, Shout out, Coach Javi, UAP. Coach Javi, commissioner. You know, uh, I hit up Commish. He's down to be on the show, man. We got to have him on the show for season two. Commissioner Willie Marshall. No, Commissioner Kamish Hobby from oh. UAAP. Oh, he's he, oh yeah, we gotta have him because yeah, we gotta have him I've been asked him if he could hook me up with some of my game film from when I was on Morocco. He's like, Yeah, just mm. bring your USB over. I'll put them all on there. Hopefully he still has them. He I'm I'd imagine he does. Like I got them all from him, but just again, when you get him saw, like, cause I got I got all mine from him. But it's still still bad quality. quality oh wow it's so bad that you don't even want to put it up on any social media platform because it's just nope no it ages you no to, <laughs> yeah you no one wants to see some blurry version of you doing a layup or whatever it is that you're doing it doesn't look that great bro Man, that's crazy <laughs> it's cool to show our kids and like just look i was you're gonna watch this film son mm. that's it though no probably because you was doing cool. layups but i was dunking and stuff so that's that's good hd that's, or not hd and, not you know idea. that's that's all lies that's, that's all lies that's everyone cat. yeah let's come on let's be real here come on now come on now i might have had like one um, or two ever did you ever have a dunk in the pba stop bro stop did you stop did you Are don't you serious come on, don't fuck with me i'm, I'm dead have, serious i might have dunked on y'all <laughs> what you <laughs> mean <laughs> are you serious no word yes i'm word. dead serious word okay for the rookie year you, you're dunking a little bit Man. like fast break bah. I think my first two I didn't know years, that. I might have had a dunk when I was in Morocco, too. I got it on a Did highlight you? film. Uh, not a highlight film, but you know when you get player of the game and show your highlights? I got a steal. I think yeah. it was on, like, Roger Yap. Just came down one hand. Ha! Ha! Can you shit ha! Ha! Put that out, bro? Please put that out. I got to find it. I think it was on my Facebook, honestly. I, I got to find it. You know I did the okay. mellow? You know when you go up and you just throw it through the, uh, throw it through the rim? I might have done that. But it was one hand. It See, was one, now I can't it, tell if you're but serious. But it was one hand. Not, I'm being dead serious. I'm being dead serious. It wasn't two hand, but it was one hand, and I just threw it through. You could throw it in? I mean, off I, one foot or two? Two. I'm a two foot jumper. Yeah, yeah me too. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. I'm going to believe you, bro. I'm, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I didn't know that. I didn't know you were dunking in the league. Doug, That's dope. Do you remember when we had the charity game for Rob Johnson? We were in a green uniform. Wow. Remember? You remember that? Remember we was that dunking was... crazy because that wood rim was low. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, so that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Remember? Did, didn't we have to like me and you dress up in like fat suits? Remember we sumo suits. Sumo suits. Yeah. We dressed up in like yeah. fat sumo suits, bro. And we like I don't know if we battled or what. What did we do? I might have. That beat, was a whole. I might have beat you up. That was a whole lifetime like ago. Yeah. I in the middle. Yeah. In the middle of the of the floor. Yeah. yeah. Why did they make? They made the rookies. They made us rookies yeah, do yeah. some bullshit like that. That was cool though, because that rim was low. We were, we I, we were cocking back, throwing oops, everything. So you remember that stuff? Like I don't remember any of that joint. I don't remember. You remember that I'm talking, saying it though, right? I re I remember the charity game. I'm I'm hating though. So, yeah. but yeah, I get you, bro. That's yeah. dope. Oh shoot. Okay. It's that man, whenever you find that dunk, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. it. I'm gonna send it to you. 
We'll we, put it on. Maybe we gonna put it on. We're gonna Chico. put it on. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna check put my face on this one. Okay, that's sick, bro. I wish we, we got to talk to JJ, bro, because like my job on TNT was like completely shut out JJ. Like that was my full on like just guard him 94 feet and just tire the shit out of him out. That was the strategy. You know, what was cool was uh, there's a video on YouTube, actually, and I sh and we and we talked about this, me and JJ, but there's a video someone put out. It's like rookie Saul Mercado against MVP JJ, because I guess he won the MVP that season or the season before but like uh -huh. it was pretty cool because like you could see us battling each other it was dope. dope it was like rookie but i was a rookie yeah bro that shit that was so cool man my first interaction with jj and mark mark i mean we came at the same time mark was talking so much noise yeah. to me bro yeah and, and i didn't i didn't instigate it i never disrespected him he came in just like Nom, 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 nom. Yep. Like all over me, bro. Yep. It was it was different. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he backed okay. he backed it up too. <laughs> he backed it all up, bro. Yeah. I heard all the stories. Me and him got I into it a few stories. times. Yeah. I so dope. Then they had Ronald Tube. Yep. E Mink. He was nasty. The Saint. E Mink. They were nice. Rudy Hatfield. Billy Mamarill. The H bomb. Chris Bacana. H bomb. Hey, Yo. shout out Mouse. CP. That's my Hey, dude. does anyone that knows the culture out here, the PBA life, like you gotta know the mouse Chris Picana, man. A dude. One of the <laughs> one of the funniest dudes I know. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, bro. Him and his super pops. cool, bro. His pops him is and his cool pops. too. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Picana, man. Yes. Did you ever kick it with John Arrigo? Nah, that dude was a little different, bro. He so there's this guy for people who don't know is John Arrigo is a Phil M. He thought he was I don't, Kobe. I don't. Yo, so this dude, wait, because you can remember this. Like I we're we're not super homies. I I respect him. Like we're we're not super close. I get all my stories from Ali Peak and Ali Peak and John Arrigo. They they they're were teammates. You know, they were teammates Coke, right? for a long time. Yeah, at yeah. Coca Cola. <laughs> so this fool man, this John, he comes into the games, and mind you, there's no. There's no AC walking into these gyms, getting ready for games, whether you're in Unaris Antipolo or Ultra or Araneta. Yeah. There is no Mall of Asia. This dude's coming in with Michael Jordan suits like, to the game. <laughs> and he's dead like serious. Like sweatsuits. Yo, sweatsuits, <laughs> business suits. Because remember in the 90s, 2000s, like Jordan be wearing suits yeah. to the games. Oh, my God. Yo, this cat, he's wearing suits to a PBA game. And and it gets crazier because after the game, you know, they go out, they're going to like Jaipur. Yeah. Jaipur. Uh, Damn. Yeah, Jaipur, right? And this dude, he got he still got his suit on from after you know <laughs> after the game. He's smoking cigars like MJ at the club. Oh my god, That's, bro. Yo. He really thought he was, he was him. But 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 you know, his game though, man, he had a he had a nasty fadeaway. Dude, he'll catch you off guard. He'll catch a couple bodies, like or especially early in his career, like he could play. I he don't had, remember playing he, against him, honestly. We, or we him caught him at the very end. Okay. Well, here's the thing: we caught him at the very end, right before he got blackballed from the league. Oh, uh, okay. Did you hear how that happened? Nah. <laughs> okay. All right. So this dude, he uh, he was at Red Bull practice and. Coach is doing his thing. I think it was Coach Yang. And um, they're doing practice, and, and John just wants to shoot on the side to get his work in because whatever practice isn't going to his his likening, so he wants to get shots up. Coach basically just tells him, like, are you going to join us, or are you just going to do your own thing? <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to get my shots up and do my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> For a practice. We're talking. Can, can you imagine just saying that to a coach? That's I'm just crazy. gonna do my own. Okay, so they they find him and all these things. He's getting in trouble. He tries to write a petition <laughs> to get all the to get all the players to sign it to to do s something along the lines with like Red Bull's not paying our salaries right, and you know let's write this petition. <laughs> After that, no shit hit the fan. He got blackballed. He didn't. 
get in the league again after that. Yeah, Coach Yang ain't the one you want to mess with. You can't you can't do that, bro. But in his prime, he was according to Ali, man, he was cooking people, bro. He was I I'm not saying he was MJ or Kobe, but hey man. He was doing it. He's torching it. <laughs> I don't remember. Like honestly, I can't even remember even watching him play. I just remember him thinking like he was nice and like that. Like Duh. he had that mentality. Like he's Yeah. He's better than everyone. He doesn't yeah. He definitely had that mentality. Yeah, Funny ass dude. Some man. people call it mentality, some people call it a complex. I call it a complex. That's cool though. Shout out John Arrigo. Hopefully he's uh doing his thing, man. Hey, I ran into uh I ran into Francis Arnais the other day. And uh we're we were at Carrie's. It's crazy because I was at I was at Carrie's gym downstairs, about to go in. And here comes this this older guy, good looking older guy. And he was like asking the guard, hey, how do you get to the Shangri-La lobby? And he was on the carry sports side, if anybody knows. And I and I and I was like, hey, just follow me. Uh, we got to take this elevator up and then you got to transfer elevators and go down to the lobby of Shang. Uh -huh. He was like, I was like, just follow me. We'll take you. Right. So he gets in the elevator with us. And uh, when he was in the elevator, he was like, you guys don't. I was with Lamont. He was like, you guys don't look like. You know, you're from here. Where are you guys from? And I was like, Oh, I'm I'm originally from Sacramento, California. And he was like, I'm from Sacramento, California. I was like, What? <laughs> you already had that connection there. Yeah, I was okay. like, What? I was like, Oh, yeah. cool. And he was like, What do you guys do out here? Uh, I was like, Oh, well, I used to play basketball, professional basketball. I'm retired now. He goes, oh, Okay, I don't watch much basketball nowadays. Sorry, but uh, what team did you play for? And I was like, I used to play for Hinebra. And he was like, I played for Hinebra. I was like, What? And he was like, yeah, yeah I played for oh, never. Shit. He goes, hey, the biggest flex. He goes, we started it all. <laughs> That's so tight. How do you react to that? Hey, I was like, like, I was like, what's your name, sir? And he was like, Francis yeah. Arnaz. I was like, oh, I heard of you. Yeah, being from Sacramento, it should have clicked. I was like, yeah, you play for play with Jaworski, right? And he was like, yes. I was like, yeah, yeah you guys definitely started it all. That's, That's, that's so without cool. a doubt. But I told him, I was like, hey. Maybe I could get you on our, our podcast or whatever. He's like, yeah, find me on Facebook. I, I would love to. We got to get him on. on. Got to. Got to get him on. Oh, dude. Dude, what a great combo. Got to get him on. Right now. Anybody had. That, dude? Yeah, that would be sick, bro. I got to try and find him on Facebook. You know, there's all a bunch of fake pages and stuff. So hopefully I can find him, reach out to him and get him on, mm -hmm. bro. That would be sick. Bro, we got to. Oh, we got to get all the OGs on here because I bet they got some crazy stories. Like JD, imagine we get, we if get, we got Jaworski. Dude. What? Imagine we get Boss Al Francis Chua come on here, bro. Like, get some of these guys. No, I think we can do that, right? I think we can get Boss Al. Yeah. I think you would yeah, be down. Yeah, let's get Boss Al, bro. I would love to get Boss Al see season two. But if we got, we got to get Jaworski. We got to get to work. We got, dude, we can get all these. It's like all Hinebra, this whole podcast. That's all we. I know, I know. I know. We got to. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, but I mean. <laughs> that's what the people want. That's what the people that's want. That's what the people want. I mean, Sorry. Jaworski, he's bigger than Hinebra. Boss Al, bigger than yeah. Hinebra. You know what I'm saying? Like, these Just, dudes are... He's for the culture. Yeah. They're for the culture, For bro. sure. For yeah. sure. Dude's Facts. a senator. You know, like, you know, Boss Al's doing his thing. He's RSA's right-hand man. You know. We got to get a... Probably the best, best basketball director in the history. <laughs> right? So, and the yeah. way he makes the moves, bro, he's just so like, bah, bah, bah. Like, he makes it happen, like, quick. Yeah, like, man. once he, they make up their mind, like, shout out Sam Miguel, man. Yeah, like, I got some good stories about Boss Al, too. I would love to have him on. Oh. That'd be cool. Oh, man. I think that would be great. I hope we can make that happen. Yeah. I got to make sure we, uh, I ask him when we're winning games. And, <laughs> nah, I can't. I got. I can't lose a game and ask him. Yeah. Hope, <laughs> That'd be, yeah. Hopefully Tony it's Bishop does his thing so we get Boss Al out here. <laughs> oh, man, Tony, bro. Or just be on a losing streak and be like, Boss Al, you want to uh, you want to release some, some anger on our show and talk oh, about shit. shit. <laughs> He's like, yeah, JD, first and foremost, you're off the team. <laughs> and then after that, yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, cool, we, we got a lot of people to put up, man. Yeah. It's gonna be a great season. Yeah, be on the lookout. We got a we got a yeah. we got some good things coming up season two. Um for sure, man. Yeah, we uh this this has been a great gotta... this has been a great session, bro. Yeah, I mean this has been another great session of Coast to Coast, uh, with your boy Saul yeah. Mercado and Jared Dillinger, JD Daredevil. 
Daredevil Media pew, pew. CEO. You pew, know, pew, pew, pew. you know who that man is. But anyways, uh, thank you for joining and tuning in on another session. Be on the lookout for another episode of Let It Fly coming out soon. Get in our comments. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and and uh, whatever else you do, comment and and uh, be blessed. Uh, be safe and peace and love out there. It's your boy. We out. We out. We out. That was really lovely, man. Stay, out them Stay tuned next week. We got 10 Oaks. Peace. 10 Oaks. <laughs>